Now from the sports station, powered by Hamilton Orthopedics Spine and Sports Medicine, here is News Channel 2 Sports. Hard to believe we're about midway through the fall sports regular season already, and there are so many amazing plays. I wish we could show them all, but never fear. We always do our best to pick the best. Enough about me. Let's roll the video for the top six at six. At number six, boys soccer. Frankfurt Schuyler hosting Mount Markham. Roman Harad sends it to Sanid Samelovic, and he buries the header. Great job. Maroon Knights win 6 0. Number five, Westmo hosting Cooperstown and girls soccer. Victoria Downs, check out this. Skies it in the corner. That's beautiful. Kristen picked that one. Westmo wins 3 2 over Coop. Number four, Camden football visiting VVS, fourth and 25. Brian Gonzalez, watch this. He's going deep. And Azir Odom right in the end zone for the touchdown. Uh, after two touchdowns were called back. Pretty cool. Blue Devils win this one 49-35. Number three, New Hartford hosting CVA. Now, this is how you start a game. Opening kickoff, it's Sal Weller on the reception. He takes it. Looks like he's gets stopped here, but nope. He pops out and he's gone along the far sideline for the touchdown. And I am almost taken out with the Selly. Yep, right there. Sorry about that, folks. Hey, Spartans are unbeaten. 42 0 with the win. Number two, Whitesboro on the road at West Jenny. End of the first half, Dartmouth bound. Kyle Meyer throws the Hail Mary, and Anthony Dorzinski answers the prayer. As time runs out, Warriors win this one 41 0. Number one, Mount Markham hosting Cato Meridian. This is Dom Jones. He touched the ball five times, scored four touchdowns, but watch this. Up and over, helmet off, no problem. He's ready to go. I'd like to see that again, please. Helmet off, tongue wagging, he is ready to go. They are unbeaten and unscored upon this season. And that's your top six at six. Coming up tonight at 11, Holland Patton taking on Clinton and girls soccer and a CSC matchup as Cooperstown facing Sequoia under the lights. We'll wrap up News Channel 2 at six after the break.